Welcome, welcome. Today, I'm gonna show you the basics of the Productive Bees mod. First, you're gonna need the Big Book of Bees. To get that, you'll need a book and a bee cage. A bee cage is two oak planks and a honey bottle. Now, getting combs and honey bottles is pretty much the same. Find a vanilla bee nest and click it with the shears for the comb or a bottle for honey bottles, just like in vanilla. You can take nine honeycombs and that will make a honeycomb block. That's used a bit later. A honey treat is a honeycomb and a honey bottle combined. To get a honey block, it's four honey bottles. Something else that is nice for decoration or a trophy room is the bee jar. That is seven glass panes and an oak button. To put the bee into the jar, you'll just need to get a hopper, take the bee in a cage, and put it in the hopper. It will show up in the jar. It can be taken out whenever you want. Just put the hopper underneath it and you'll get the bee. Next, you can check out the nests, nest locator, and the advanced oak beehive. There are many different nests. They can be classified in three categories. Wood, iron, and diamond swords. Nests. To craft a nest, you'll take a block like wood, glowstone, sand, gravel, soul sand, sugarcane, or bamboo, and then put it with a wood sword in a crafting table. Iron swords are used for stone, slime, quartz, and stone, and nether brick nests. Diamond swords are used for the nether gold nests and the obsidian nest. All these nests can be found around the world, but you can also craft them and use honey treats to summon the bees. That's the method I use. It's faster. Once you've started to get different bees, you're going to want an advanced oak beehive. You're going to need four oak planks, two honeycomb, a campfire, shears, and an oak beehive. To get an oak beehive, it's just six oak planks and three honeycombs in the middle. The other hive is the dragon egg hive, made with an oak beehive and a dragon egg. Those are used for draconic bees, but they don't require them. Just the dragon egg for flowering. The advanced oak beehive requires an expansion box on top if you want to put in upgrades to the hive. It also adds two extra bee slots. The oak expansion box is crafted with eight oak planks and a honey treat. Now we can talk about the nest locator. This is mainly used if you don't have a lot of resources for the swords and whatnot. It's crafted with seven gold nuggets, iron bars, and a note block. When using the nest locator, you'll need to shift right click to set the hive block it's looking for. From there, you can right click in the air and it will tell you how close the nearest one is. It will turn blue if you are getting close. Time for upgrades. This is my favorite thing about the whole bees thing, other than the bees themselves. They are very, very useful in this mod. To start with any of them, you'll need an upgrade base. That is four sticks, three emeralds, a diamond, and a honey treat. Now you can get your upgrade speed. This decreases the time spent in the hive by 20%. This is stackable. It can also be installed in a centrifuge for faster processing or some of the other B mod machines. But I can get to those later. You'll need four honeycomb blocks, four clocks, and an upgrade base. Next is the upgrade Bobby. This gives a 5% chance to spawn a baby bee when honey is delivered. It only works for bees that can breed with themselves. You can stack the upgrades on these two. 
You'll need four honeycomb blocks, four flowers, and an upgrade base. It can also be used in a bee catcher to make only baby bees be caught. The type of baby bee depends on the bees present in the hive. The upgrade block is used for lumber and quarry bees. It makes it so they put out blocks instead of chips, so that's a lot more productive for those. That takes four honeycomb blocks, two wax blocks, two item frames, and an upgrade base. The next one is only attainable after defeating the Ender Dragon, and that's because you need draconic chunks. The upgrade productivity increases the output of the hive by 140%, and it's stackable. You'll need four honeycombs, two honey blocks, two draconic chunks, and an upgrade base. Another useful upgrade is the Pokey Pokey Gene Sampler. This extracts genes from bees, and it definitely doesn't hurt them. You'll need four honeycomb blocks, two diamond swords, two honey bottles, and an upgrade base. The next is the upgrade range. Used in a bee catcher, this gives it more range for pickup. It is stackable. You'll need four honeycomb blocks, four iron blocks, and an upgrade base. Second to the last for the upgrades is the upgrade filter. This filters the type of bee allowed in the hive or catcher. Just right click the bee with the filter in hand and it will be added to the filter. You'll need four honeycomb blocks, two redstone, a redstone comparator, a book and quill, and an upgrade base. Last for the upgrades is the upgrade anti-teleportation. Useful for ender bees that can teleport. You'll need four honeycomb blocks, four ender pearls, and an upgrade base. Now for the machines of productive bees. The main one is going to be the centrifuge. This processes combs into items and honey, or applicable fluids. This is seven iron and a grindstone. There is also a powered version that uses FE. It does the same thing, but a bit faster than the regular one. It's made with four iron, two redstone, two basic control circuits, and a centrifuge. The other version uses redstone flux coils. Those are two redstone and a gold ingot. The recipe for this version is four redstone, three iron, a redstone flux coil, and a normal centrifuge. The next is the bee catcher. It catches bees. It needs bee cages to operate. To craft it, you will need seven iron ingots, a dispenser, and a dirt block. The honey generator is the next thing I'm going to talk about. It's made with seven iron, a furnace, and a honey bucket. It generates power using honey as fuel. We still have a few more machines to go. The bottler is used to get jeans. I'll explain that in the bee jeans video. I'll link that right here. But to craft this, you will need seven iron ingots, a glass block, and a smooth stone slab. The bobby incubator is used to make baby bees into adult bees using honey treats and it's also used in getting some bee spawn eggs. You'll need seven iron, a hay bale, and a daylight sensor. The next up is the gene indexer. I'll also go more in depth in it in the bee gene video, but for the basics of it, this machine sorts and combines bee genes. You'll need seven iron ingots, a crafting table, and a redstone comparator. Also, to get a wax block, it is just nine wax. To get wax, put combs into the centrifuge and it will provide wax and honey. Sturdy bee cages can be traded from villagers or found in village chests. The workstation for this villager is the advanced oak beehive. You'll trade emeralds and a bee cage for it. The incubator requires power. It requires about 22-ish honey treats to make a child into an adult. 
Now for the basics of B genes. There are five classifications of genes. Endurance, weather tolerance, productivity, temper, and behavior. Endurance has four classes, strong, medium, normal, and weak. They are a random chance from what I've seen. Weather tolerance has three classes, any, rain, and none. I believe thunderstorm might be one, but that's not in the creative menu. They are not random. You'll have to train them by tying them to a post outside with a lead. To get this, all they need to be is left outside for a long time in most conditions. Productivity has four classes. They are random, just like endurance. The classes are very high, high, medium, and normal. Temper has four classes. They are mainly depending on the type of bee. The classes are hostile. They will attack other bees. Normal, they don't do anything unless provoked. Aggressive, they will attack you. Lastly, passive. They won't attack even when attacked. Behavior has three classes. They are dinural, active during the day. Nocturnal, active at night. Metaternural, active day and night. You have to train them for this. When you train them, they can get damaged, so keep honey treats on hand and stay with them or they might die. Getting genes is simple, ish. You can use the Pokey Pokey upgrade or a bee bottler. The bottler kills the bee, the Pokey Pokey does not. The Pokey Pokey is much slower. Using these mechanics, I have three ways I use to get genes. That's the next video, so go watch that if you want your bees to be the most productive they can be.